Okay, welcome back to another episode of Guild Wars 1. We technically finished our playthrough of the missions of uh, Guild Wars Prophecies. We finished Hell's Precipice, an amazing conclusion to the Prophecies campaign. But uh, before we're ready to move on to the next, like, campaign or whatever, we are going to finish up some loose ends so to speak and uh i've been you know asked to go to show some capping areas some some elite skill capping areas and i decided to come to perdition will rock and i'm gonna do something unthinkable i'm gonna bring three signet of captures and i'm gonna capture every elite skill on this kind of large rock island they're not islands they're rocks i guess uh so we're gonna see how that goes and what am i gonna bring here let's bring similar to what we did in the last mission we're gonna do something like this uh actually no we do need to bring the sin the mage because they uh sin does have um burning so i'm gonna keep using this fever dreams build. actually let me change the build a little bit i'm gonna stick with illusions i haven't used i haven't used migraine yet migraine seems like it'll be pretty good here we'll use migraine give him a little migraine i'm gonna bring signet of flame no hold on Okay, I fixed my build a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna go migraine, and this is gonna be a degen, health degeneration build. No idea how well it's gonna work. <laughs> We're limited to only five skills here. But I'm my challenge. I'm gonna get all three of these mesmer elites on perdition rock. There is also a necromancer elite we could get here. I think too. Should we make it four signet of captures? No, I think we'll just stick with the. Uh, mesmer ones for now uh let's try it out i this is gonna be interesting and i didn't do much exploring here like this whole right side of the rock i didn't go there so we're gonna i'm gonna do like a counterclockwise tour of this place oh let me see i'm gonna i'm gonna start just right away casting oh i just lost my Arcane Echo. All right, let me try that again. So the, the the order I need to do this in, I need to cast Mantra of Persistence first, then Arcane Echo, then Migraine, Migraine, Phantom Pain, Phantasm. It's going to go like that. So why don't I just do this? There we go. That's better. All right, let's see how this works. I'm just going to tab through here. Oops. So they're all degen. We can cast it again. They should be draining pretty quickly. And then it'll take them a long time to cast spells if I can get migraine on as many of them as possible. The trick is I need to keep track of which ones I cast migraine on. That one's pretty good. This mantra of persistence makes my makes them last like a lot longer. I don't know the math on it, but 26% longer uh, hex duration. That adds at least a couple seconds, right? Where my math whiz is at. Look at that, Phoenix takes forever to cast. <laughs> pretty fun so we're not gonna see this this build does zero like actual damage it just just degenerates them should have waited until arcane echo is back up but don't want to sit here forever and i think we're not really in any danger of dying here Ooh. 
What? Huh. Did I wait too long before casting migraine or something? I guess the first. What is that? A monk and a warrior. A warrior boss. Right next to each other. Well, luckily this build kind of makes it very annoying for monks. Unless they have hex removal. I don't think they do though. We'll see. We'll find out, right? One. Oh. Yeah, I, I lost my... I lost my enchantment. Try that again. Yeah, I'm getting interrupted. This, ah, this phantom of midnight, or um, phantom is casting is using some sort of interrupts on me. There we go. Nice knockdown by Devona. Pretty strong comp. I mean, we 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 basically took all but one of the henchmen. We only have we only have to choose which henchmen not to bring, but still, pretty good synergy between these. So between these two skills, they get minus nine health to generation, and with this one by itself, they get minus eight a lot of health that's being lost every second right, this is a first this one's gonna be a little tricky there's a lot of minimis here and then these hydras are coming up let's come back a little bit guys oh no it should be fine yeah we're okay these phantoms kind of come out of nowhere Don't look at which skills I'm casting. It's very ineffective or inefficient. <laughs> Gonna drive some people crazy. I'm just going down the line here. I can cast Phantom Pain and Conjure Phantasm on uh, one enemy. I think that might be better than just cycling three different ones. And I can get that minus nine. It's really strong. Yeah keeping an eye on their health you can see it just sort of steadily drain go these rib cages will be a good amount of bones any bones we get from that rib cage also <laughs> right <clears throat> you'll be happy to notice that i finally got runes of holding I honestly forgot about their existence. So I was I was going this whole game with no with just bags without any runes of holding. Look how much inventory space I have now. I am ready. Another monk bot. Okay, there's a uh, Lisa's 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 curse. Lisa's curse. That's uh, the first signet of capture that we're gonna use. Oh, we could have. Add another skill to our skill bar that actually works. Pretty fun build. Just kind of set it and forget it. Like, uh. What is that? Infomercial. Set it and forget it. I don't remember what I'm talking about. It was some kind of oven. Just cast it on them. Forget about them. We'll be going down. Arcane Echo. Okay, nice. Ah, I just saw the skill. It's that skill that, like, when you cast the spell on an enemy, it automatically interrupts it or makes it fail. I 
think they have some hex uh, duration or something reduction. I feel like it's getting removed very quickly. There we go. Alright, first skill's up. Power block. Nice. The domination skill, though. Oh, we got some... We got a skill point from that. This one's nice. This is what uh, Dunham's using, actually. It removes all skill... Or it disables all skills of the same skill that you interrupt for two seconds or amount of seconds that... Oh, why do I have curses on here? Dang it. I'm wasting that. Uh, we'll just put this up a little bit. Disable all skills that share the same attribute for four seconds. I could put it higher if I remove that, but anyway. Wasn't paying attention. I'm not good at interrupting, so this will be actually a kind of useless skill for us. It's gonna be sitting there waiting to be used. Failing every single every single time I try to interrupt. Oh, uh, there. The uh, Hydra actually got that meteor shower off. Power block's kind of expensive, though. 15 energy. So far, this has been. This area has been no problem, though. And we're only. Yeah, just a little part, portion of the way done with it. After this mission, the plan is, or after this video, the plan is to go to Thoros' uh, furnace. Thoros' furnace. We got to go back to Drachnar's forge and run there. I think that's the way to go. These these videos are gonna be. I guess I'm gonna add them to the same playlist because this is all prophecies. But these will kind of be. I'm gonna call them like epilogue series or something because technically finished the campaign Should have power blocked that actually whatever some more migraines off you guys need some pile and all yeah I'm not above making horrible jokes this is cringy Jokes. Basically, I'm just looking at this, looking at their health bar, and whichever one's not purple and going down, that's the one I'm casting on. It's kind of hard to keep track of which ones I'm using it on, and which ones I have it. Here's some more. So. I think that lingering curse is also a pretty cool uh, necromancer curse. That wouldn't be a bad idea to pick up as a mesmer. But generally, I feel like if you're going to run necromancer curses, I think there's not much benefit. Like, there's not really any advantage of running necro curses as a mesmer. You'd better just be a me You'd better just be a... Uh, Necromancer as a primary build might be wrong And you have does anyone have any ideas of like which I've used some necromancer curses in my builds like in the last mission, but Yeah going like primary curses as a mesmer. I don't really see the benefit Because the, the mesmer hexes are just so good already What does this guy have? I think this guy has a signet something or other all of my team has got degeneration on it too but I don't think they're I don't think they can compete with me I'm putting out way much way more damage than they are I think they don't really have any healers so I think we're good Steadily going down. Yeah. 
hard to see. It's hard to tell the effectiveness, but I, I think this is actually a pretty, a pretty uh, devastating build for sure. So that boss doesn't even leave, doesn't even leave a body. Easily miss it. All right, let's look at what Lingering Curse does. Lingering Curse. Nine seconds, target foe and all nearby foes suffer minus zero or minus health degeneration and receive 20% less benefit from him. That's a really good curse, actually. Really good against like well balanced party compositions. I am tempted to get that. What does this do? Signet of Midnight. You and target touch foe become blinded. That's not bad because I don't really need to auto I don't need to attack anyone anyway. And it puts it if it's a 15 second blind. That's that's a long time. It might be one of the longest blinds in the game. Um yeah, I'm not going to get that lingering curse yet. I want to get the mesmer. What's the last one here? Is it um What is it? Not one I've already gotten, I, I hope. Oops, double casted migraine, darn it. Not really gonna be using the Signet of Midnight though because these are all um, caster enemies. Oh, they are attacking now. Let's use it. We got grouped up there, that was harsh. Nice. Some drakes? What are they? Are they elementalists? Yep. Here's a trivia I always loved. Mark of Rodgort. Any Homestar Runner fans back in the day. Rodgar Rodgort backwards is Trogdor. Look it up. You never watched Homestar Runner? Back in the day, it was super popular when this game first came out. This is kind of an homage to Trogdor, the Burninator. I'm not gonna sing the song, but yeah, look it up. Every time I see a Rod Court spell, I always think of, without fail, I think of uh, Homestar Runner. Well, are we in trouble here? Look, okay. look how grouped up they are. This is like. A dream for our for our uh, who is it? Sin, our mage. Crippling shot. That's a pretty nice um, ranger elite. That was a brutal massacre there. Ignis Effigia. What does he got? Wither, that's a good one too, I think. What does this do? Target foe suffers minus two health degeneration and minus one energy de de generate, de de degeneration. If target foe's energy reaches zero, that foe takes 23 damage and wither in. So it's basically like a uh, mind rack, isn't it? That would be really good to put on with mind rack. Mind rack. Target foe takes damage per point of energy loss. Huh. That, that spell might be fun to use as a Mesmer Necromancer, actually, with along with Mind Track. Ooh, we got a key. Is there a chest around here? Oh, right there. Heck yeah. I might need to come back and get Wither. Oh, hello. Required nine gold shield. Let's see what it is. Oh, man. Almost a perfect one. If that had 45 health, right? That would make it a perfect plus health while in stance. Too bad. Still pretty cool. Might be good to put on a hero. I'll hang on to it for as long as I can. Oh, 
Rock the water. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure most of you guys knew that. Rod board backwards, Trog board. Ooh, I got an interrupt off. That's the good thing about migraine, it makes it really easy for my interrupters. Whoa, that hurts. Alright, let's get some big get the midnights going. Oh, I think we're dead. Kill me. Oh no. I need it. I need to interrupt one of these guys. I think we're okay. Ooh. Wow, those guys are bad in a, in a group. Target foe and all nearby foes are hexed with Mark of Rodger for 38 seconds whenever each foe is struck or fire damage. That foe is set on fire. Oh, that's a nice hex. Hmm. I could see that being used in like a full fire damage party or something. It'd be fun. It'd be fun to mess around with that one. It's an AoE hex too. Ham Colts. Is that Harn or Ham? Okay, I thought it was Ham Coldstone. <laughs> That's too funny. That would be too funny. Man. I guarantee you one of the developers that was coming up with the names was eating Coldstone ice cream. And they just... Oh, I need another name for a, for a bot. How about Harn Coldstone? Ham? No, Harn. Where'd he go? Okay. I need to pay attention. These guys messed me up last time. Yeah, they're using like Mark of Rodgore on my whole team, and then they have these AoE point blank fire spells, and it just sets us all on fire. Pretty devastating. Where'd the boss go? It was just here, wasn't it? <laughs> Volcanic rocks, what is that? Oh, there's like a little path down here. The rocks are hot to the touch, but you manage to slip a couple into your bag without burning your fingers. What did I just pick up? Volcanic rock. I'm gonna have to look that up, maybe. Anyone know what Volcanic Rocks does? I don't mind spoilers. Put the, put the information out there. I'm pretty sure Ham Coldstone must have gone through here. I'm just gonna intentionally get his name wrong just to make him angry. Once I get, once I get migraine on them, they're pretty useless. And they can't, they're attacking us, but they're too far away, actually. They can't hit us with their point blank spells. Man, where's that, where'd that boss go? Oh, these driders are also necromancers, huh? Wow, 
Holy, that's a good one. Need some energy. Come on, Eve. She's gonna die. She keeps giving everyone energy, though. Sacrificing too much health. I think there's an elite necromancer blood ritual, like, um... It's not called blood ritual. Blood is, blood is power, that's the name of it. There's like an elite version of it somewhere around here, or... I think it's a prophecy skill. Skin Tekaru. Skin, skin Tekaru Man Shredder. That's a pretty cool name. I'm not a warrior, so I don't know what skill he uses. Dang it, I double casted migraine again. Oh, that's the last one. Wreck, Ruek, Call Mall. That's the last one. Around this way, I think. There's a ton of elite skills on this rock. These flesh golems. There's an elite skill for every profession among them. And then the phantoms as well, I think. There's also an anniversary, um, an anniversary elite skill here too, I, I believe. Or not for Mesmer though, I don't think. Oh, these ether cells are just always here, huh? They're not. I thought they were part of that quest. Oh, we need to get down there. <laughs> the opponent just runs down there. He doesn't care. Maybe I can aggro them from here. Can I shoot that far? Oh, I can. Holy cow, the... When you get that that reach advantage, the elevation advantage, that thing reaches far. Oop. Get out of the meteor shower, please. Dang. I'm standing in that meteor shower. Oh, and we over aggro. Oh no, don't die. Please. Stay alive, people. We definitely over aggroed. It wasn't intentional. Let's just get the, let's just get the, uh, elite skill at least. Echo, that's it. Oh wait, so we came out on top. We didn't even die. We got arcane echo and regular echo. Let's test out. We got four elite skills on our bar. <laughs> that's crazy. We have four elite skills on our bar, and this is still not a really great build. That's an amazing accomplishment, isn't it? Alright, so we're gonna do... Oh, whoops. Dang. Alright, let's wait till this wears off. So what would be the ideal... If we have two echoes... We need to do like that. Arcane echo. Migraine. Echo migraine and then we'll have three migraines we can just use cycle through 
All right, there it is. Test it out. Nice. Now we can just cast Migraine on all of them. This pack of... Yeah, they just got off all their stupid meteor showers, though. We wiped at the very end. That's poetic. Poetic justice. I think I can I finish them all off, though. They're all Migraine. <laughs> Where's Devona? Oh, she's just running around. That was too many meteor showers. They got off like all of their meteor showers. All right, let's try that again. Arcane Echo. Migraine. Only one enemy. We'll get our revenge. Echo. Oh, dang it. I cast my stupid mantra again. It's not the worst thing having the two mantras of persistence because we can always have it up now. Oh, we always could have it up actually. Whatever. We got our revenge. We cast Meteor Shower. Alright. Pretty good. 30 minutes. 3 elite skills. That's an elite skill every 10 minutes. We got all around Tradition Rock. Very nice. Alright. Uh, now I'm going to go back to Drachnar's Forge. Next episode. The next... Um, Epilogue episode will be going to somewhere over here where uh, Thoros Furnace. And I'm going to do a short mini series of Thoros Furnace, hopefully. I don't think it'll be, I think it's doable with Henchmen. Um, should, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, but we're going to try that with Henchmen. And Sorrow's Furnace is cool because there's a lot of green items that are available for the first time in Prophecies. And I think, yeah, I'm going to think about which build I should use for next episode. But I might play around with um, Echo. Might do some cool, like, Mesmer Elementalist Echo builds or something. Or try and get, like, triple Chaos Storm action going. We'll see. Anyway, just a little quick... Uh, video i'm still i'm gonna put out a poll today uh voting on where which direction i should go next in my playthrough like should i go to eye of the north should i go to factions should i roll a new character should i keep this, this character going uh those are the ideas that are bouncing around in my head so if you like this hit the like subscribe all that stuff i'll see you next time peace